Guys, this might be the last video that you ever see from me. Oh, no! In this set, in this set. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. I am in the process of moving right now, so everything in my life is a mess. The walls, I only kept the foam on here. The other walls, it's gone. And I've been packing all day. I just got out of the shower, so my hair is a mess. But for the final video in this set, I wanna look at something very special. The most legendary Jaden Animations videos ever! I know, we watch the essential viewing, we watch the classics, but there are some videos from Jaden that are even bigger. And a lot of people have been asking me to do it. So hey, what am I if not a crowd pleaser? Let's go. I attempted my first Pokemon Nuzlocke. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what that means because I imagine Jaden is going to do it in this 17 minute long epic. This is Jaden's most viewed video, 87 <laughs> no! Sorry guys, I am feeling crazy today. Not much in my life makes sense right now. So this is a coping mechanism. This is the most requested Jaden video that you guys wanted me to see. So we are gonna go on this adventure together. Are you ready for the biggest Jaden video ever? Cause I am. Ichi, ni, san, go. Within the Pokemon community, there's a set of self-imposed rules you can add to the games to make them more challenging, called a Pokemon Nuzlocke. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon what? faints, it dies and you can't use it anymore. And you have to nickname your Pokemon to get more attached to them. That means if you aren't careful, you can technically lose a Pokemon game uh, under those conditions. So that's the basic idea, is that usually in Pokemon, if your Pokemon gets defeated, it's okay, just go to the center, bring them right back to health, you're good as new. In Pokemon Nuzlocke, no. They die in battle, they die in real life. So basically, Nuzlocke is Pokemon for crazy people. I've never bothered, I wanna have fun. I've wanted to do a Nuzlocke for the longest time. I've started a couple in the past, but never actually got to finish any because busy. But today's True. the day that all changes. I decided to make a video on my first full attempt at a Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Sweet. Let's see how it went. After breaking free from the back of the moving truck my mom stuffed me in and introducing myself to the neighbor Brendan, the kid that I always thought was a monkey said that he heard screaming up ahead. Professor Birch is getting mauled by a level 2 Poochiana, so I let his Torchic out and she scratches the crap out of it. Wow. He gifts me Torchic for rescuing him and I name her Teriyaki, my first Pokemon. Walking up the route more, I run into Brendan who challenges me to a battle, where Teriyaki proceeds to also scratch the crap out of his Mudkip. Good job Teriyaki, you're 2 for 2, doing great. Professor Birch gives me five Pokeballs and the Nuzlocke has officially started. Wow, how much detail are we about to get? So this is gonna be a different kind of Jaden animation video. I knew it was gonna be a little bit different, but we're gonna see animation mixed with gameplay. Are we literally about to go on a whole Pokemon adventure? We are in this. We already got our Pokemon. Torchic named uh, Teriyaki, of course, after a uh, chicken that you eat. Jaden, disgusting. I'm just kidding, that's okay. I walked back up to catch my first Pokemon and ran into a zig Zigzagoon. All right, not the best, but I can work with this. Sorry, sorry. You know, I think we're gonna have a really awesome adventure. <laughs> so Teriyaki one-shotted Zigzagoon with a critical hit scratch, but whatever. Contain your murder a little bit, all right, guy? Route 102 is right around the corner, and that's where I was able to catch Corn the Sea Dot. Look at us, couple of friends ready to take on the Hoenn region together. After watching the weird kid Wally struggle to catch his first Pokemon, I continued on to Route 104 and found a little Talo in the grass. Aggressive and screams and hungry. Me. Me. Oh, yeah. Me. I know your name. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I forgot she had a bird named Ari. I literally was like, is, are you gonna, are you about to type Ariana Grande? Bruh. Is Ariana aggressive when she is hungry? That would've been pretty savage, not gonna lie. But no, okay, I understand. I haven't seen every Jaden video. I don't know all the lore, but I know a good amount. In Petalburg Forest, a Team Magma grunt jumps some random professor, so Ari and Teriyaki peck his eyes out. Oh, hello, Shroomish. I'm gonna name you Onion. I make it to Rustboro oh. and while getting ready to take on Roxanne's gym, Teriyaki kills another Zigzagoon I was about to catch. What's your problem with Zigzagoons, dude? But it turned out all right because she also ended up evolving. <gasps> Onion was able to destroy Roxanne with ease and we got our first gym badge. Exiting the gym, we catch a glance that Team Magma is up to no good again. Something about the scorching earth or something. And this old man exclaims that they stole his Pico. That's very sad. 
All right, I'm gonna keep it real. Me growing up, Gen 1 and Gen 2, I know like the back of my hand. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I know the back of my hand very well, and I know Gen 1 and 2 very well as well. Hey, that's new. Gen 3, I messed up so hard. Gen 3, Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire and Emerald, which is what this is based on. She's doing Pokemon Ruby. I always tell my friends, this is the biggest gaming regret of my life, is I was late to getting a Game Boy Advance, and so I was late to the party with Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. So by the time I got it, my mom was like, okay, we can get you one game. And I could have got Pokemon, and I got something else instead. I got like Super Monkey Ball. What? What? What are you doing with your life? Come on, man. No, I got Super Monkey Ball and Mega Man Battle Network because I could get two for the price of Pokemon Ruby. So I missed that gen and I've never been able to like catch back up because I missed it. And I feel like I missed like one of the best ones ever. This is my biggest regret in my gaming career. Not just getting Pokemon. Why, Robert? Why? The other games were ill, but not as ill as Ruby. Come on. Here's your dog. Also, you're coming with me. The mayor Heck thanks yeah. me by turning me into his errand boy, and I arrive in Duford to give a letter to Steven. Do we lose All any right, Pokemon in this? Ugh. Okay, you chomps. After finding Steven, it was time to take on Brawly, the next gym leader. Whoa. Ari's a stone cold killer and easily earned MVP in that fight. Things were going well, two badges in and the team is looking good. On my way to the next city, I caught a tentacle on the beach. <sighs> Squidward. And after beating <laughs> Team Magma and Brendan again in Slateport, it was time again to get ready for the gym battle with Watson. Let's go. But as I was fighting some trainers, Chomps the Mawile got electrocuted a oh, bit no. too hard and was oh, killed. Oh no! Jaden, let's battle. I want to show you how strong I am. Wait, where's the where's the memoriam for this fallen creature? Did she have anything to say about it? Okay. Ari, this is an electric gym. You're not allowed to fight in here, so you can just wait outside. Okay, so we're not, we're gonna ignore the one that died? You don't care about the Pokemon that you lost, fam? I'm more heartbroken about this death than you are. And you were its mother. If you can't handle loss, don't do Pokemon Nuzlocke, I guess. I guess that's just how it goes. I was gonna ask, like, are we gonna have any deaths in this? <laughs> My question was answered. While battling the gym trainers, Onion evolved into Breloom, and together with Teriyaki, they were able to get another victory. Get him. Now we were riding high. Three gym badges in and no main casualties. With our massive what? confidence, we decided to take on the Win Straight family's challenge of beating all their family members. I had squirted out up. front to get him some experience, but we ran into some troubles with Grandma. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, oh, no. it's gonna oh, do a no. high jump oh, kick. No. We can take him out, but I need a clean switch first. Oh no. So ah! I had to sacrifice Hush Child the Wismer, but honestly, that was the safest move to ensure no one else died. Goodbye, Hush Child. You might be missed. Bruh. You might be missed! Jaden! Okay, it's, this is why I haven't done a Nuzlocke, because I care. I care too much, okay? Too much empathy. Sorry, I can't do a Pokemon Nuzlocke. I'm an empath. Okay. <laughs> That's just it. That's just it. That's the reality. But you gave Hush Pup a grave, and the other one you were just like, uh, yeah, that didn't, whatever. Unbelievable. While we were heading to Fall Arbor, fighting some trainers, Ari evolved. Nice. Oh, look at my big bird. Oh, look at you. Yeah. We were almost to town, but we had to get through the sooty grass on Whoa. 113. Oh, jeez. All right, Barf, <laughs> get in there with the rest of them. I walked into Barf? Meteor Falls to see Team Aqua and Team Magma arguing about water and rocks. Urgh. Can I go? So get over here. They kept complaining and I had to go up the volcano they were blocking to fight Maxi, the Team Magma leader. That was a hard fight. Onion and Teriyaki were able to take out his Mighty Anna and Camerupt, but his Golbat hit oh, hard. No. I ended up having to switch in Ari and double team up Let's to win go. the battle. Not the most honorable of strategies, but it worked and we're moving on. On the way down the volcano, I ran into a matchup. Oh, hello there, Chad. What? You're a female? 
Did I stutter? <laughs> you can name a woman Chad. They just might not have the easiest life. You can name a woman Chad. They just, their life might be a bit harder than if, it, if their name wasn't Chad. It's not short for Chadella, you know? You can't pretend that Chad is a nickname. Wait, does Chad actually come from something? Let's be real here. Chad name wiki. The name Chad is the modernized form of the old English given name Chad. Shadow. Use that one or use both. I don't care. You can use that too if you want. I don't care. I, I don't care. Until the 20th century, Chad was very rarely used as a given name. According to the Social Security Administration, Chad first entered the top 1,000 names for male children in the United States in 1945. Yeah, and around 1945, we needed some Chads. Let's keep it real. We arrived in Lava Ridge Town and started getting through Flannery's gym. During that time, Squidward was almost killed by a fury swiping Kecleon. Oh, ah! oh my gosh, that does a lot of damage. Ah! Ah! But when it came time to battle, hit he one pulled more. his weight and more. Honestly, with the team, there wasn't much I could have done to Flannery's fire Pokemon, but Squidward came in clutch by learning Bubble Beam, and it was all over for her. Badge yes. four, under our belt. Brendan met up with us outside the gym to give us goggles so we could walk in the sandstorms. I found a claw oh. fossil, and Anorith was born. I didn't know what to name it, so my friend named him Gary. Now it was time for the fifth gym. After some training, Chad evolved into Machoke, and the team was leveled up. I started the battle with Ari, and after realizing I was in trouble... Whoa. Yeah, that doesn't do a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, I managed to squeak by with more double teams. Ari was barely able to take out wow. the first slacking, so when the second, stronger one came out, I knew I had to use a different strategy. I brought out Onion to leech seed it and try and get more chip damage in, which worked, but he was also killed by slacking's facade, <gasps> no! which I thought he could no! take. Chad was able to finish off the rest of the fight, but that was the first death that actually hurt. I'm not crying. Someone's just chopping onions in here. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's horrible. Okay, um, A, that's sad. Like if you cry every time. Actually, real quick, you should like this video really quick. While I got you here, you should boop like on this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed really quick. Now at the end of this video, you better check out Jaden's channel if you haven't already. You would be pretty crazy not to. Let's just get this out of the way. Cool, thanks. This is really making me want to play the game and just get further mad at myself for not playing this. I mean, I do have my legendary Pokemon Leaf Green video, which is from the same generation. I played that, but it's a remake of Gen 1, which I already played. So it's okay. I just have this hole in my discography. I did just buy Shining Pearl like three days ago though. I was on the Switch Marketplace and when I go on the Switch Marketplace, I ball out. I buy like four games at once because I'm impulsive and bad. And so I've got that going right now, actually. I think that's part of why I wanted to do this video, because like I'm literally playing Pokemon right now in my real life. But with every down, there's an up. And Corn stepped up and was ready to fill Onion's spot. Wow. While passing through Mauville again, Watson asked us to help him turn off the city's generator. And while down there, I found a Magnemite. You want to come with? They're cool. They're kind of cool. Okay. We kept on our way, catching Spurky the Electric, and while fighting oh. some trainers, Korn survived two very close calls. He took a Swords Dance boosted Fury Cutter by Ninja, oh. and a misclick from me, which resulted in him tanking a wing attack from a Talo. Oh no. No, no, no! no, no, no. no! Dude, Corn, I'm so sorry. You're such a trooper. Good news is Ooh. Squidward evolved while training, so oh. that's neat. We arrived in Fortree City, and this was a gym I was really nervous about. Not only did we not have a good team to take on a flying type <laughs> gym, but Winona's Altaria is notorious for sweeping teams if she sets up too many oh, dragon no. dances. I went to the grass to train up the team, and the worst happened. Corn was killed by pin missile from a zigzagoon. Wait. Wait, no, 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 stop, 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 corn! Corn, no, corn! You monster, no. how did you do this? Is this why you kept trying to kill all the zigzagoons? Corn, there ain't no sadder day than when corn gets roasted. <laughs>
Ain't no Saturday. I want to think that Corn sacrificed himself because he knew we were at too much of a disadvantage going into Winona's gym. And by opening up a space, Aww. we could get the type advantage we needed to stand a chance. With a heavy heart, I brought Zip Zap Zop the Magnemite to the team and realized how much more grinding I was gonna have to do. Did, wait, did she, did you mention this yet? Did she mention that rule at the start? That you can't swap out for other, you have to stick with the first team you've got. Like, I know you have to catch the first one in every round, but you can't use your new Pokemon until one dies? Correct! That's even crazier. I had to fight so many Merrills to get <laughs> Zip Zap Zop on par with the rest of the team. Yeah. You wanna know how many? The move Thunderbolt can be used 15 oh, times no. before it runs oh, out. No. And I had to go back to the Pokemon Center almost six separate times to refill it. Meaning Zip Zap Zop killed more than 80 <laughs> Merrill that were living in that lake. Oh, Winona no. led with Swellow, which Zip Zap Zop was able to take out. But she immediately brought out Altaria, Whoa. which made me very scared Get because I know Get she's em. got Earthquake on that thing. Get I didn't em. have a clean switch and I knew no one on the team could take two hits from this cloud bird. So I ultimately decided that I'd have to have Zip Zap Zop paralyze it in exchange yes. for his death. Oh no! Bye, Zip Zap Zop. You weren't here for long but your efforts will not be in That is so much- Oh my god! Somehow Zip Zap Zop lived the earthquake on 2 HP like a mad- That rat. is so much pressure! Corn must have been looking down on us for that <laughs> one because there was definitely a 90% chance Zip Zap Zop was supposed to die there. Oh With that string gosh. of luck, I was able to switch Ari in for Zip Zap Zop to predict another Zip, earthquake Zip, and started chipping away at the Altaria, which was Get not going to be easy. She was already starting to stack up those dragon dances, which make her moves even more powerful. And I was legitimately sweating. You were willing to sacrifice a Pokemon just to get one move off on the thing. One in one attempt. You can't mess this up. You only have one shot. What she was just describing, she basically spent like an hour leveling that thing up only to try to use one move one time. That's so much pressure! I can't imagine that amount of work. See, I'm trying to get through my Pokemon games, you know? I'm trying to get through them. I can't do Pokemon Nuzlocke, because A, I'm an empath. B, I'm trying to get through them. You know what I'm saying? But with what little luck we had left, Winona got greedy and tried to get in that last dragon dance, and that's when Ari was able to swoop in and snipe yes. that kill. If that Altaria would have decided to attack at any point, she would have one shot anyone and everyone on my team. Thank you, Corn. You shined your photosynthesis oh, onto that's us. Terrifying. From there, I was able to heal up Zip Zap Zop and sweep the rest of her team. The Get sixth em. gym badge was ours. That was stressful. Outside the safari zone, I found a Duskull I was able to catch. Oh. I tried to have Gary on the team since resurrecting him from the dirt, but he honestly has like no moves that do damage, so I decided to replace him with Sin. We arrived in Lily Cove and I tried fishing on the beach for a Pokemon, but Chad punched the whale right up too hard and killed it. We stormed Team Magma's oh, base, okay. and while trying to get the Master Ball they've got on the ground, an Electrode exploded and almost killed Chad, which was uncalled for. After beating their admin, they escaped into a submarine, and I went on to fight the next gym. Tate and Liza were the first double battle gym leaders, and I didn't realize until too late oh. that I was just a tad oh, underleveled no. for them. Oh no, oh no. Um, they don't have any more than two Pokemon, so I think we should be okay. But wait, what happens? Do you not save in a Nuzlocke, or do you not load a previous save? Like, if you're underleveled and you go into a gym and they wipe your team, you don't start over, do you? By the nature, the honor of Nuzlocke's, you're pretty much done, right? Unless you're gonna retrain from level one, good luck. Like, how is that? Can you, like, just fail a Nuzlocke halfway through and then it's over? Yes. Feel free to answer some of these questions in the comments. I know we got a bunch of Pokemon lovers in the chat. I don't know this information because I'm an empath. 42! 42! Oh no. 
Well, uh -oh. I'm terrified. Sin and Zip Zap Zop made a good duo being able to confuse and paralyze them. Oh, good. But Soul Rock managed to get off a sunny day powered flamethrower in Zip Zap Zop's face, <gasps> which totally killed him. That really sucked. Oh, no. He put in so much work for the team oh, no. and really carried us this far. The rest of this fight's for you, Zip Zap Zop. Squidward oh, came sad. out and together with Sin, we're able to finish off the duo, oh, getting us our seventh oh. gym badge. <sighs> All right, Sperky, you're up. Uh, I think I single-handedly wiped out the entire water Pokemon population between Zip Zap Zop and Sperky. I went to Shoal Cave and caught Blubby the Sphiel and Aww. went out to take on Maxi one last time. For some reason, I didn't learn my lesson when being underleveled for Tate and Liza because I was even more underleveled for oh, Maxi. Oh, no. My Deanna. It doesn't go down? This fight was rough. Chad was oh, able to no. take out his mighty Anna, but I resorted to Squidward when his Crobat came out, and luck wasn't on my side here because Squidward was killed by a high oh, roll wing no. attack. The way Pokemon works is there's a small range of damage an attack can do. It's not actually the same all the time, and it's kind of based on chance. So even though it looked like Squidward could have lived two wing attacks, oh, no. Maxi was able to get a low roll on the oh, first one no. and a high roll on the second, oh. which was the death of Squidward. What? But it it wasn't time to give up. We had to persevere for Squidward. Ari came in and took out the Crobat and lived on one HP when hit by Camerap's rock slide. It was a tough battle, but we squeaked by. That's terrifying. Barely. <laughs> After that fight, I needed to take a step back and seriously grind up the team again. If we were just a bit more underleveled, we would have been murdered. <laughs> yeah! I would go into this with so much preparation. There is no way that I would go into this and allow myself to be like 10 levels under my opponents. That would terrify me. Okay, okay, here, here's the thing. I can't do Pokemon Nuzlocke because A, I'm an empath. B, I'm trying to finish the game. C, I am a wimp. Yeah, yeah, we said it. We said it. Maybe someday I will give it a try. If I ever become a streamer, I'll do it. Maybe. Blubby joined the team and we got to work, eventually arriving in Sutopolis. Steven and the Sutopolis gym leader Wallace were there saying Groudon was in the cave because someone used the wrong orb and pissed him off. So I Whoa. went in there walked up to Groudon. Whoa, Master Ball. Master Ball them immediately. Yay. There's no way I'm fighting Groudon. Now get in the box. There you go. Oh, but she has to keep the legendary Pokemon in the box. Ugh. Uh, that is so brutal. There would be nothing better than being able to use that Pokemon to help you win the rest of the game. But it has to stay in the box until someone dies. That's sad. While fighting Wallace, Sperky was able to take out his love disc in Celio. Sin beat his Whiskash, and Chad finished off the Milotic. The team was perfect. And after obtaining our final gym badge, I knew we were ready for the Elite Four. We got through Victory <sighs> Road. Sure? Wally tried to fight us for the last time, but he just needs to stop. We exited the cave, and there it was. The final challenge. Here we oh go. Gosh. Sydney was up first, and honestly, he wasn't a challenge at all. Chad and Teriyaki were able to take care Got of him. his team with ease. Phoebe wasn't difficult either, with Sin and Blobby being MVPs. Glacio was a bit tougher. Teriyaki was able to take out her Glalies, and Sperky could handle her Celios, but her Walrein was the big problem. I know some of these words. <laughs> We're really blazing through this. I don't know a lot of these Gen 3 Pokemon. So I'm just like, yep, what she said, yes. Yes, I agree. Walrains are thick, can tank a lot of hits, and can do a lot of oh, damage. No. I would know, because I have one. I brought out <laughs> Chad and she was able to get in a good amount of damage, but she was ultimately killed by Blizzard. No! Sin came out to try and confuse it, but it broke through the confusion and landed a Sheer oh, Cold. No. Sheer Cold is a one hit oh, KO move. No. It has a 30% chance of hitting the target and will fail if the target Pokemon's level is higher than the user's. But even under all those conditions, it hit and Sin was killed. If you're midway through the Elite Four and you lose multiple Pokemon, you're like screwed. You can't take out other ones. That's crazy. You only get one shot.
<laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Two great team members, down and out. Very Chad sad. was with us for so long and pulled so much weight, and yeah. Sin got us through some really tough battles. Even with those losses, we were able to finish Glacia off and move Good. on to the final Elite Four member, Drake. Drake's got Drake. a tough team. But we've got a blubby, and she wanted revenge for her fallen comrades. Yeah, get him. She ice beamed every single one of Drake's Pokemon. Just a get straight em. up massacre. And with that, it was on to the last battle. Steven Stone. Steven Stone! I was Stone. legitimately nervous. I led with Sperky to take out his Skarmory as quick as possible, and Blubby was able to take out his Claydol and Agron. <sighs> but then came his Metagross. This might be the end. Metagross is Steven's strongest Pokemon, uh, so I needed to hinder it as much as I could before it started doing serious it. damage. I knew as Metagross had Earthquake, which would paralyze definitely take it. out most of my team, oh. so I had to have Sperky Kamikaze to get a Paralysis off. Blubby yep. came out again, Very and sad. after a lot of hard work, finally beat the Metagross by <sighs> spamming Surf. Teriyaki was able to finish his Cradilly, and his final Pokemon was Armaldo, Gary's final revenge for getting booted from the team. <laughs> I brought out Blobby because Teriyaki was pretty weakened, and after realizing she gets two-shotted by him, <gasps> I knew she was gonna have to die. <gasps> So with a heavy heart, Blubby pulled off her last surf, getting Armaldo in the red, and was killed. Oh. Teriyaki, the Pokemon who's been with us Let's from the start, go. who's seen her finale. friends die in front of her, the OG, refused to let any more murder happen. This Onion, Corn, Zip Zap Zop, Squidward, Chad, Sin, Sperky, Blubby. Their zeros and ones won't go down in vain. One good kick to the head, and we did it. We yes. completed the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Teriyaki and Ari were the only survivors, but the whole team put in a lot of work to get us to number one. A cheers to the true mad lads. Oh my gosh. A tale of love and loss, of fighting and loving, sadness and joy, laughter and tears. This is the story of the Pokemon Nuzlocke. See, why would I go through all of that pain myself when I can just watch this legend do it? I did not know what to expect. The first couple minutes I was like, okay, this is a little all over the place. And then I got to know the Pokemon. I got to know Jaden as a Pokemon master. And and I was like, I'm in, I'm in, let's go. And we did it, we made it through. That was so much fun. And now I have a question for you. This isn't the only one she's done. Should we watch her next Pokemon Nuzlocke next? If you want me to do the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, make sure you have liked this video and let me know in the comments if you want to see that, let me know, okay? And now it is time, homies. Make sure you have checked out Jaden's channel. If you have not, link is right here or in the description, whatever. Make sure you're subscribed. She did all the hard work. I just said the silly jokes. And here's the full playlist of Jaden Animations reactions that we have done. If any of these you haven't seen before, make sure you click on the playlist and check them out. Or here's a different video that YouTube thinks you will like. Thank you for watching my stuff, people. I appreciate you. I hope you have a great day. Bye!